I'm Rebecca and my wife and I are currently on a journey to renovate and revamp our garden space, space both in flowers and in vegetables. If this is your first time joining us, please hit the subscribe button to follow along with us on that journey. So a couple days ago, we had hopefully, fingers crossed, our final snow here in western New York. We got about six inches on Wednesday and we had just cut the grass on Sunday. So cut the grass snow and now hopefully the forecast uh, is clear enough and it might get a little chilly in the evenings but that's okay because we are going to focus now on planting our spinach and uh, potatoes and carrots and things like uh, radishes and things like that that do well in the colder climate um, in the springtime so we hope that you enjoy today enjoy today's adventure and uh, let's get started so this spring, we are going to plant some, start with seeds, champion radishes. I grew radishes when I was a kid and I just remember them being so fun and uh, we really like to eat them here. So we're also gonna do some sunflowers, two different kinds of flowers. Um, still a little too soon for this, maybe a couple weeks when we get into May. And then also we're gonna do some carrots um, this says two weeks before last frost, uh, if that was, it didn't, it just snowed, but it didn't really frost, so, um, we could probably plant these now. And then also some pole beans. And then in our farmer's market, I'm going to buy bush beans, um, already started, uh, tomatoes, one tomato plant. We have a tomato allergy in the house, so we don't really eat a lot of tomatoes. Uh, but we do have some people that like fresh tomatoes in their salad. So we'll grow a couple tomatoes. Uh, cucumbers, squash, and zucchini uh, is what we're going to buy starters for. And those we'll plant later at the end of May uh, when it is officially planting season here in western New York. So what I realized is I forgot was my spinach seeds. I searched and searched. I could have sworn I bought some. I can't find them. So that's what I was going to do today. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, instead, we're going to start the radishes because um, they, we can start some now and um, progression plant them and do some now, some next week, and then the following week so that they're not all ready at the same time. Um, so for my birthday, my mother bought me this seating square, which I'm excited about because it'll make it a little easier. Um, it's kind of gardening gardening for dummies, gardening 101. Uh, you push the earth down, you push the square into the earth, and then it's got all these holes with different colors, and each plant has a different number of uh, seeds that you can plant within a 12 inch square. So my gardens aren't big, I'm trying to get the most out of the space that I have available. Uh, so I'm hoping that this will allow us to grow more in less space. Um, so let's open this. So first off, it's really sturdy plastic. Um, so this will be able to use this over and over again. So then there's all these holes 
that you use this little um, tamping tool and it measures, I don't know if you can see it, one through four, and you just push it down in as far into the earth because each seed also has a different depth. And then you can put your seeds in the end right here and just kind of like um, pour them into the squares. So, and then on this side, it's got like a little funnel that you can put on each square as you do it. Each square as you do it. And then put the seeds in through there. So, don't know if I'll use this, but we'll see how it works. So, I'm excited for that. Um, another thing that I'm going to do today is actually prep my potato uh, pots. We're going to grow potatoes and the zucchini in pots. So, if you can see here, potato seeds. So, what I've already done is I got them. They were about this big, maybe a little bit bigger, and I let them grow. Um, and I took off some of the ones that you don't want. If you take off, the, a potato has a bunch of different eyes, like this one is really little, so you just poke that off. And what that does is then sends the energy up to the one that's growing really well. Um, if you do get one that's multiples that are pretty big, you can cut them apart like I did. So these I've cut apart. So there's one, each section will create one plant. So this, this will be one plant. This will be one plant. This will be one plant and so forth. So what I've done is when you cut them, you kind of leave them um, out to dry. Before you put them in the earth, you want this cut part to scab over so that um, it doesn't rot in the ground. So this takes about a couple days, um, three or four days to do that. And I'm a little bit behind with that. I wanted to get them in the pots this weekend, but I think I'm gonna have to wait till midweek to do that. Um, so we're just letting these scab over. I brought them outside in the full sun, hoping that the fresh air will help them scab over a little faster. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so I have here, I wanted to show you my little garden plan. And I'll take, a, I'll do a better picture of this. So I've laid out my garden beds. So here's the potatoes. Um, I do, I did get also for my birthday, two smaller raised beds. They're actually on the legs and they stand about 30 inches tall off the ground. And they're small. Um, I won't be able to plant much, but it is something. And I plan on planting my lettuce in there. Um, I do have some lettuce starts already, and I do have the seeds. So all of that will go into one of those, uh, both of those beds. Again, the potatoes will be in pots, the zucchini will be in a pot, and then I have string beans. I'm gonna put, um, it's, it's not cow panel, it's, it's just a fancy um, panel that I bought from Lowe's and that will serve as the support for all of the cucumbers and the one tomato. So as we grow those, I will show you how to um, tie those up and keep them um, from falling. So, And then also in the center of the garden, I've got three arches and the arches are going to be used as support for this, um, the butternut squash that we plan on growing because that's a family favorite. So in here I have space for carrots, bush beans, uh, pole beans, spinach, radishes, and onions. So that is the plan. And then also I've got my little cheat sheet notes here. And each, each plant needs a different kind of fertilizer or food. So um, I have here some blood meal, which is a source of nitrogen. And then I have bone meal, which is a source of phosphorus. And I will do a video on the difference between these two things. Um, there's numbers on the bag. I'll tell you what those numbers mean. Um, each vegetable gets a different thing for a different reason, and we'll go over some of that. So we'll do that in a different video. So for today, since I don't have my spinach, we're not doing that. 
Um, I am going to start the ground earth for um, potatoes. So potatoes get bone meal because they this is high in phosphorus and potatoes need phosphorus to grow. And then also I am going to plant my radishes in the garden and those don't need any fertilizer. You actually, I probably shouldn't have put compost in the ground um, because it might be, I bought just bagged compost from the store and it might be too high in nitrogen. I'm gonna see how they're gonna do, but I've already mixed it together. I didn't know that little fact until it was too late. So hopefully they'll grow and be okay. They kind of, this is the kind that kind of grows on the surface. So um, hopefully it won't, it won't uh, be too, won't be too much uh, fertilizer for them. And then I have to wait on the beans and I have to wait on the carrots. So I guess we're just doing potatoes and radishes today. So for radishes, they are a good companion plant uh, to plant with other root vegetables. So for example, I will plant some of these in their own squares, but once I plant the carrots, I will also plant some radishes in with the carrots because the carrots take a long time to mature, like grow and sprout and mature. And the radishes, because their mature time is so short, uh, they will come out of the ground before the carrots even need the space. So that's what I'm gonna do. Of radishes for now and I did not even use the little funnel so um, maybe this will come in handy for like the carrot seeds that are just minuscule um, the radish seeds were pretty big that I could just hold them with my fingers now I am going to mix together a bag of black cow with a bag of miracle Grow organics container mix so i will mix those together for the potato pots
that whole bucket, a whole wheelbarrow, was enough to get the pots to their starting level because you want the pots to be four or five inches full of dirt to start with. And once those, once those um, potato seeds have scabbed up, we will put those into the earth, wait for them to sprout a little bit through the dirt, and then we will cover them with some more dirt. So I looked in the box for this gardening square and I found a planting guide that it, it basically lists all the different colors that are on the square. So you've got yellow, red, yellow, blue, and orange. And it lists what plants you can plant in there that uh, will, will grow okay. So like in the red, you can plant 16 in a square foot. So beets, carrots, green onions, leeks, microgreens, parsnips, radishes, salad greens, scallions, and small turnips. Yellow is nine. So pole beans, bush beans, large beets, bok choy, celery, mustard, onions, peas, soybeans, spinach, and turnips. Blue is four, four plants per square foot. So corn, chives, garlic, lettuce, head lettuce, rutabagas, shallots, sunflower for like a hedge and then Swiss chard, and then orange is one per square foot. So it's your bigger things like broccoli and Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, eggplants, kale, peppers, potatoes, strawberries, sunflowers, and vine tomatoes. So then there are also things that need multiple square feet. So uh, for, requires at least four square feet of space. So that's four squares in the dirt, Cucumbers, melons, pumpkins, squash, zucchini, and bush tomatoes. And uh, it kind of gives you some tips on the back of how to use the square. Um, says to locate the seeds on the guide, press it firmly in the soil, which we did, poke the holes, which we did, and then deposit the seeds. And they, again, they show using the little scooper on the end. Um, I just use my hands, so. This is very handy if you're a first time, have never seen one of these or used one of these. Um, so today we planted 16 in a square foot and we did two square feet. So we could potentially get 30, wait, 16 times two, I am not good at math. 16 times two is 32. So 32 radishes here in the next 20 days, 20, 20 to 27 days. So really excited about that. We'll plant some more again. Um, a little bit later so we've got some more. So I hope that you have found this video to, oh, sorry, one more thing. Um, the bone meal, uh, we are going to put into the pots when we're ready to plant the seeds. So when we're ready to do that, I will mix this in a, a handful of this with each pot and plant them with the potatoes. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's video and have learned a little something and um, have enjoyed watching us starting to grow our garden. So as we always say, suki suki, love the earth, love yourself, and love each other. Bye.